In our last tutorial, we went through the basic controls of LumaFusion and created our first rough cut. Now it's time to go through more of the functionality of the app, adding more clips to the timeline and showing you how some of the timeline controls work. Then we will finish up by sharing our project to the Photos app. In this video, we are going to go over the LumaFusion timeline, audio controls, and exporting our project. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm using the project we created in the editing tutorial. Get started on the LumaFusion timeline. LumaFusion has a multi-track timeline, allowing you to have a total of six video tracks, including a main timeline, and six audio tracks below the main timeline. The video tracks can include titles, graphics, and additional video with audio. The audio tracks can be sound effects, additional voiceovers, and music. To add clips above and below the main timeline, tap on the clip in the library. Depending on the clip, drag the clip anywhere above or below the main timeline. You will see a white box around the area you want to drop the clip. Let go to place. You can move the clip around anytime by tapping and holding the clip. Once the clip pops up, you can move the clip around. Note, video clips with the audio in them, when moved underneath the main timeline, become audio-only clips. Track header controls, disabling audio and video tracks. Tapping the track header button gives you individual controls for tracks, such as disabling video and audio for a particular track while editing. Tap the lock button. This will lock the track in place, so no additional changes can be made. Tap the view track button. This will allow you to disable the view of a particular track. You can solo a particular track by disabling the tracks above it. This is useful if you want to see how B-roll, titles, and graphics look independent of the main timeline. Tap the mute track button. This will allow you to disable audio of a particular track. You can solo a particular track of audio by disabling the audio tracks around it. This is useful for sound editing. Audio mixer controls. As you add audio to your project, the sound will start to add up, increasing the overall volume of your project. To do a basic audio mix, follow these steps. Play your project as you add additional audio clips. Disable audio tracks when you want to solo specific tracks. Tap the audio mixer button. Adjust the track's audio level by moving the level to the left to decrease or right to increase. Play your audio and observe the levels. Raise the overall audio mix. Tap the master control on the left side of the timeline. Move the button up and down to raise the volume. Note, pay attention to the levels of your sound. You want the overall mix to be in the middle light green area and not go over zero decibels. Share or export project. At any time, you can share your project to your photos or video sharing sites like YouTube and other locations. Tap the Share button. Share export window opens. Note, there are a few different options available. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will concentrate on the movie options. Tap Movie. There are a few different options available right at the start. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will use the Photos app. Tap Photos. LumaFusion will have a default basic setting for export. Recommended settings will have a star before the setting. These are based on the settings the video and audio were recorded in. You can lower these settings depending on your destination. This will decrease the file size and quality. There are advanced settings, but leave them at the default for now. We will cover them in a later lesson. Here is the export info. This will tell you the length of the video, the estimated file size, and the space available on your device. Tap the Share button. A writing movie indicator will appear. When finished, go to the Photos app. Tap Recent. Your video will be in the recent role. You can also find your video under Media Types. Select Video. Your video should be the last one. Congratulations! You have successfully created and made a video. Feel free to share by airdropping the video to your friends or post to your social media platforms. Conclusion. We have covered the basic workflow of LumaFusion. From bringing in footage to creating and sharing your project, there is still more to cover, such as adding titles and effects, color correction, 
resizing, and more. For now, practice working on your project and getting comfortable with the interface and the tools we introduced in these videos.